Greetings, Keishlings. Keishin Prime here, doing another episode of Pokemon Y Nuzlocke, episode 10. Just talked to Sycamore, got a Charmander. I'm gonna go to the Sola Lee uh, Cafe and then head to Campamere Town? Or Campamere Town? I don't know. God damn it, I just got talking to you, sons of bitches. Yeah, Lemmyr City may be a very large, may be very large, but it, if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna go on a little walk. The streets sure wind and wander here. Oh, just so you know, Camp Amir Town are over this way. You already told me. But whatever, a friendly reminder. Okay. Haha, uh -huh. Shauna. Left and straight, they said. Okay. Could you come here for a second? I already did. Why? Oh, it's Lysander. And is that uh, Deleoth? I, I don't know. <laughs> Deonthe? Deonthea? Deonthe? Deonthea? No. Yeah. Just so you know, neighbor, Lysander is the head of Lysander Labs, which has created the hollow. Yeah, which created the Holocaster. A video. I know what a Holocaster is. You already know who Deonthea is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing here today, or together. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? Okay, you are creepy. Creepy, man. What a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Wait, she was chosen? Eh, isn't it your role to be your, to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful must stay that way forever. I would end the world in an instant so the beauty never fades. I can't stand the thought of a world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, Kishin. This is Deanthea, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting. Which is to say, she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if I. If only everyone were like her, what a beautiful world this would be. If you'll excuse me, you say weird shit and you just walk away. I don't like you, Lysander. And who are you two? Well, he said my name. My name is Serena. And this is Keishin, right? Oh, she learned. Someone's not an idiot. I heard Lysander call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your, don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself. I'm, yeah, myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. You are the champion, so I will crush you. Should I get that far? <laughs> hmm. I guess if you're a Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone. So, no, ma or no matter who they are. Oh, that's right. I have something to ask you, neighbor. Would you be willing to compete with me so which one of us will be, or to see which one of us will become stronger? I know we set off on our journey just after you arrived in Vonneville. But we are neighbors, and I think it would be fun to have a competition with you. Okay, I like competition in a way. Mm, excuse me. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. 
Okay, I don't know why you couldn't tell me this shit before. Okay, well, I came this way. I'll see what Sean is doing. Is she, is she even still standing there? Wait. Oh, fuck. I, I hate this town. Everything's so damn all around. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. Uh, oh yeah, this way please. No, I don't want to. PR Video Studio. You can jam six seconds of video with every atom of your... No. No. Didn't even mean to walk in here. Pokemon Center, so I'll heal up. I'm going to catch another Pokemon. <laughs> Sycamore's lab. See, she's up there. How did you know? I don't care about you. Sure enough. So check this out. I'm out on Route 5 right now and it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Okay. Wait, where was that Pokemon Center? I'll, I'll pack up for the trip. It was back this way. Because I do have some money now. I can probably actually buy some stuff. Uh, got you. What up? Five. Really, I can only get... <laughs> oh. This is going in badly. Wait. Did I have anything I could sell? Just while I'm already here. Mm, antidote. Charmander. The, nah, Charizard Ight Y. Just so I don't forget to give it to him. Level 10, so you're, you're my weakest right now, but... I went the wrong way again. This town, I swear. I got stuck on a car. Uh, it's, what is his name? Mr. O? No, Mr. Bondings. Have you heard about O Powers? I don't know if I'm ever going to use O Powers, to be honest. I, I tried using them once. Uh, okay. Attacking defense powers, yes. 
Not all the powers you can gain levels the more you... Yeah. I'll look it up if I ever need it. Oh, come on. I barely get on a route and I get accosted by a Lucaria. Which will one day be mine. Oh yeah, and considering that that would be the second Pokemon that I get via just giving it to me. Because <sighs> I forgot that that happens in this generation a couple times. Any Pokemon that uh, I'm given, they I can keep them. So I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Car. Huh, well, it seems Lucario likes you. Thanks. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made it... made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in a battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Whoops, sorry, I was a bit of a roll. I was on a bit of a roll. Such a role. I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shalor gym le City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Ha ha ha. All them fighting type puns. Alright, let's see. Uh, double battle. Meh. Faith and joy. Plus one mine and... Kitsune doesn't really need it. Striker could, though. Seeing as it's been a week since Pokemon Sun and Moon came out, how's everyone's Pokemon journeys that have gotten the game? I still haven't gotten my copy of Pokemon Moon yet, but I hope that that will change soon. And as I stated in a previous episode, I'll be doing a an off-camera playthrough to get kind of familiar with the game, and then I'll eventually do a Nuzlocke. Yay, Strikers 11. And Kitsune's 18. Ooh, side beam. First psychic move. Let's get rid of Hal because it's doing us not a lick of good. I still haven't come up with a good name once I get a Rowlet. Which as I'm quite partial to.
Yeah, getting some levels right now. That's good. Good experience. Let's check them out. Okay. 15. Ooh, about to get another level. A little far for you, Kitsune. But hey, Striker's moving up. This soon be a Charmeleon. Which, I'll move him to the front of the party. I don't like that I have two fire types. Ah, crap with you people. My goodness. Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. Yeah, they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, Tyrano, do you think anything other, uh, do you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. And then my feet just start moving too, I can't even help it, you know? Like with sword dance, I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Oh, oh hey, it's K-Meister. Do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle. Okay. This will probably be where I'll end the episode after this battle. Yeah, sorry that all these episodes I don't amount to much. Mm, too close to my level. Cindy! Save Striker! say is there good to talk about nearing this because this is gonna kind of be on autoplay for a bit yep okay maybe not <laughs> okay I don't really care to learn yawn Yay, 13. Yeah, nice footwork. Yeah, 1,200. That's nice. Good to see you, Keishin. Excuse me. I meant K-Monster. It really doesn't, or it really does seem as though Tyranno can only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon pop out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trevs. Come on, with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream. World's best... Poke... What? <laughs> that is a stupid dream. I was born to dance. I will never stop. Not with moves like this. Well, if you're old and frail, you might stop. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Cherno. I guess I should show you just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. It's good to be serious about some things. Oh, uh, do take this honey, won't you? You see, using honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. Yeah, if you're going to a challenge a whole horde. Though, if you're going to challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets. Okay. Well, I'll end this episode here. I'll see ya. Uh, well, I can't say next week, even though I do these in a batch. But anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. 